questions. It's like Socrates. That's all Socrates did was said, it's normal to have these questions and can we please stop pretending that we know the answers when we don't. And if you actually can fully deeply say, I don't know, then you actually create a space where you can actually begin to know something. No matter what, even if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer, if you're a janitor, if you're hanging out in a hammock all day long, there's going to be a certain amount of suffering. It's going to be work. Instead of reading all the usual suspects, uh, Shakespeare's, Mark Twain's, uh, Charles Dickens, he said, who needs Shakespeare when we have Dostoevsky? And I never heard of Dostoevsky before, and I thought that's a very bold statement to say, who needs Shakespeare when we have Dostoevsky? So I picked up some Dostoevsky, and I quickly understood what he meant by that. But he also went on to say, it doesn't matter what, what the, the level of the writer is or how important he is in history. Just read whatever moves you. I feel like I'm dancing With two left feet I can't feel the warmth That shines from above You know it must be The story about Buddha is that he used to walk up to people and he would say, hi. If he happened to encounter people, he would say, how are you? And they would say, fine. And, 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 and he would work. say, are you happy? And they would say, yes. And he would say, I'm very glad to hear that. And keep walking. My whole life feels like one long day. And I never feel like.
until it's got you howling for more.